Ever since the first episode of Motor Week, Goss's garage has been there. Answering questions, debunking myths, and showing viewers how to keep their vehicles in top condition. Now, learn how the cast and crew of Motor Week put together the show's most hands-on segment with Motor Week Behind the Scenes. When it comes to maintaining a vehicle on a budget, Pat Goss is the man for the job. With over 25 years of automotive mechanic experience, he has shown MotorWeek's viewers how to maintain a vehicle, detect certain problems, how to fix them, as well as the time and cost involved. His segment is all about preventive maintenance and getting the most from your vehicle. Well, I'm the segment host of Goss's Garage on MotorWeek, and I talk about the various things that consumers can do to protect themselves against faulty repairs and ways to make their cars last longer and the longer they last, the better the value. When not on the set of Goss's Garage, Pat Goss runs his own shop, maintaining his business with the same quality and efficiency as he does for his show's segment. We add a little more to it and spray it and clear. It's just driving everybody nuts. This is different from last year, isn't it? You got your Michael Jackson, Sergeant Pepper thing going, you know what you Our viewers also know what they can brighten this up at all. With the transition to full digital broadcasting in June of 2009, Motor Week was one of the first shows of Maryland Public Television to truly embrace this change. Shooting in high definition 1080i for the highest resolution and quality for local broadcasting. The jump from standard definition has provided a vast improvement in visual quality and detail for every vehicle and segment shown. For the past 12 years I've been doing a lot of the audio in the Goss Garage segments, uh, whether they're back at the station or on location. My job is to make sure that you can hear Pat or, and or a guest and um, maybe some background noise but not a lot of extraneous stuff. So sometimes we run into interesting situations where we're out in the field, especially uh, in places where we don't have control of sound and things. Since 1994, Dave Scrivener has been a producer for Motor Week. Actively participating in all aspects of production, he's been the main driving force in maintaining the quality and variety the program is known for. We do these in a block. Uh, we do three days a week for three weeks every summer and get 26 segments done to air throughout the season. It's been quite a grind. Uh, we oh, do two segments a day. We've done everything from how to lift trucks properly, the effects of missing body pieces on aerodynamics and uh, fuel efficiency, proper diagnostics of trouble codes, smoke machine testing for event problems, all kinds of race talk with do-it-yourselfer and technicians as well. With eight years' experience at Motor Week, Ben Davis has worked his way up. During pre-production, he's helped Dave and Pat in researching new topics, making improvements to the set, and finding ways to present new material to the viewers. My role starts months, months before uh, the whole Goss segment starts. Um, I come down here and talk with Pat, and we throw around some ideas for segments, generate a big list, and then we pick off the best of those. This year we picked about 18 of those, and uh, I came up with a few, which I'm impressed with. I'm uh, very proud of myself. And then from there, I'll make the proper contacts. Uh, in this case, a couple of uh, B-roll contacts that I shot prior to the season starting. Uh, and then when everything's in order, it's basically just waiting for the whole thing to start off. And then I kind of pull the strings from behind the camera and make sure everything goes down smoothly, make sure my guests come in on time, and uh, make sure they come in at all, really and um, I'm holding a smaller conductor stick behind uh, Scrivener's larger conductor stick. And together we're getting it done. It's a beautiful symphony. An accomplished editor for over 20 years at MPT, Taylor Baxter manages his edits in the Avid Symphony Suite. He's been making Goss's garage segments come to life for the past five years. What I do is different than what we used to do a couple of years ago. Originally, 
It wasn't brought to me to edit and hear what would happen is it was shot as live with multiple cameras out in the Goss set and was mixed as it was being done uh, in, a, in a control room nearby. What we've done in the last couple of years is brought it in here in the edit room to be edited with the idea that there's a little bit more control over when the shots fall as opposed to cutting them live as they're happening. As I take the two tapes from the two cameras in the edit booth here, I lay one on top of the other. It's as if you have two strips of film and the bottom strip of film you can't see because there's another strip on top of it currently that you're looking at and that top strip is one of the two cameras. It's the, it's the tighter shot. So if, if Goss is talking about this Slurpee in your seat, the cutaways, the tight shots of the Slurpee are on that top strip of film that I've laid down here in the edit room. Then when the camera needs to, to move position, that tight camera needs to move to another position to show something else in that sequence, I cut away that portion and then you see through down to the bottom layer of film strip which is the wide shot of Goss. So essentially that's what I'm doing. I'm just lifting out sections of film, so to speak, so you can see um, the cutaways and beneath it, the wide shot. With this top quality production crew, fans of Motor Week can rest assured that Goss's garage will remain an integral segment in the show. It's with the combined efforts of these people and everyone at Motor Week that help continue to make this production America's longest running automotive television show. And if you have a question or comment, write to me. The address is Motor Week, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117. Public Television, which is solely responsible for its content.